There's a place way out west towards the harbour called Rauchord. And it has, it's got this, um, I think it really, its heyday was in the 60s and 70s. And you have all kinds of festivals. And this was one um, I went to. I was, all I did was take photographs. I wasn't, um, I, I'm not a funky person, so I wasn't dancing around or anything. But the theme of this one had this sort of hippie-ish vibe. But what was funny is that, so you've got a lot of young people there, they're, they're sort of play acting that hippie life and you've got the tents and the makeup and the this and that. And there was sort of a lot of love. But the weirdest thing was coming in there, you have to pass through this gate. And this gate, you know, was a very commercial barrier in the sense that I could, I had a bottle of water. I always have bottles of water with me. And I had to either give them the bottle or empty the water. I was not allowed, this is water, this was not vodka or some uh, 12 year old malt um, whiskey. No, it was water and I had to throw the water away. And so you throw all, you get rid of everything and anything you need, you must buy in this area, which was this sort of semi hippie paradise. It was a very uh, paradoxical situation, very strange situation. I mean, that was my view. Remember, I'm just walking around looking at people and seeing what people are doing. I was there the whole day till about one in the night, or one in the morning. And uh, it struck me as strange how the image of hippiedom was there, but behind it was this brutal, hardcore commercial drive that would extract all of our pennies from our wallets and I suppose leave us feeling good for a day or two.